How is it going everybody? We are here in Greece. We flew out yesterday from Switzerland to Athens, had a layover back over to Corfu and flying into Corfu, it was phenomenal. It was absolutely gorgeous. It was just the most perfect sunset. So pretty. And I couldn't believe how beautiful this area is. And on the way here, Coco rode with Emmett for a little bit of the way and Emmett was just a champ and put his arm around her. He and loved it was having fantastic. her in there. She loved being in there because she just adores him. We have a lot of great things planned for Greece. Can't wait to show you. day here in Corfu. It is also so so hot. We just stopped at a cafe that had air conditioning and got a couple of fresh squeezed orange juices. We found fresh orange juice everywhere and it tastes so good. Do they grow oranges here? Do you know? I don't know. Because they are so good. But it's really nice on a day like today to stop and get something like that. It's super cool and refreshing. So we just did that and now we're ready to go see more of Old Town Corfu. It's 100% Greek milk. Yeah, we gotta, gotta try the local delicacy. <laughs> get some ice cream, you buddy. You are getting so good at eating ice cream. We have given you so much That's practice so far. important life skill. Share with, share with mommy. Good share. Good share, Emmett. Oh, this is good. I'm usually not really tempted by the touristy shops that you find in every city, but the one here in Corfu is is getting me. <laughs> Let me show got you. Got you. Has yeah, it got me. Let me show you. Look what we got for Kose. <laughs> How cute is that? And then this is for Emmett. Oh. And for Coco. These were like, this was 11 year old, this was 15, this is 15. So not too bad. He has had enough. He's done. He's going back to the toys. Do you want to get back to this way? I mean, we're going this way. Come on. Do you want me to put you back to this way? I can put you back in. Oh yeah, you want to sit right here and you still out me by all these toys? That's pretty cool. Okay, buddy, we gotta go. Oh, that's fine, but then you need to go this way. Okay, will you go that way? Okay. Emma, come here. Emmett, you ready to go to the beach? Going for. Coco, you ready to go to the beach? She is ready. Sweet pea. Good morning, almost afternoon, everybody. We are on day two in Corfu. We just got to Agios, Agios, Georgios Beach. <laughs> Emmett and Coco are prepped. Coco is looking adorable in her little swim outfit. She got her swimsuit on. She's got her smile on, and she's ready to take on the world. So here we go, we got about a half mile walk. This is one of the cons to arriving to a beach early, late.
Giorgio speech. Honestly, we were a little bit unprepared for it. We brought too much of the wrong stuff. We had a lot of stuff with us, but we had to buy umbrellas on the way, and we just kind of weren't feeling it. It was very crowded. It's a beautiful, beautiful beach. Um, we just should have gotten there earlier because it's so popular. Also, the sand was kind of tricky with a toddler. This is our first time taking Emmett to the beach. It was just a little tricky. So anyways, we left and we came to, what is it, Dacia Beach? Yeah. Dacia Beach, I think it's called. It's a rock beach. So you got these little like pebbles. It is so beautiful and it's actually so much better with Emmett because the sand, he doesn't get sand all over everything and he likes to play with the rocks. So it's really nice and the waves are smaller. So I'm way more comfortable with Emmett being here. This is a very, very kid friendly beach. I'm really glad we came here. So this is Sky, Emmett. Sky speak. Good morning. It is the next day here in Corfu and we woke up early with plans to get out at 6 a.m. but it is now 6.40 a.m. <laughs> so we are hurrying and the sun is rising right now. It is so pretty. We're trying to get to this really, really popular spot that we've been so excited about. Um, we're trying to get there before. We're gonna the beat crowd. the rush. We're gonna beat the rush. Being here in August is a fight for every last inch. Okay, we just showed up at, uh, start with the P and it's long, but I'll put it here. Um, and it's absolutely stunning. Like the rock formations, everything surrounding this place are so beautiful. Anna and I, we had a bit of a, of a disagreement this morning. We, I thought we were gonna come here and I was like prioritizing drones. She really wanted to get a picture. Obviously the sun came up. And we just had like a moment that we're both kind of mad at each other. Like, oh, like I wanted to get this, you wanted to get that, blah, blah, blah. But then we realized that we're on this trip. It's gotta be memorable no matter what happens. And like, yes, we wanna prioritize video. We wanna document and share things with you guys the best that we can. But at the end of the day, we're doing this for our family and we're doing this so that we can make memories together and be able to look back on the, on those memories for forever. Just so that we can we can share these moments and our kids can grow up looking and reflecting on, on the things that we did as a family. And hopefully our goal is that this will make us a closer family unit and that we can really have this trip and this, well, this really adventure. It's not really much of a trip. Trip sounds, sounds relaxing. But uh, we can have this adventure and we can just make those memories together as a family and not always have those memories to look back on. The hair is a little wild from swimming in the Mediterranean. <laughs> Ashley. Just another day in Corfu. We drove over the craziest hills, and I could not believe that that was the way the GPS took us. Most of the roads here have been good, but this was not a road. This was a full-on dirt road. But we made it up with just our two-wheel drive manual shift vehicle. See a lot more, and the kids got a really good nap during that time. Went by and we got donuts um, from the sweetest lady. I just can't get over how nice people are, especially when Anna's carrying the baby. They just are so vocal about how much they love babies. Yeah. 